Welcome back <clears throat> to the Whiskey Dude channel. I'm your host, Whiskey Matt, and tonight we're going to be talking about a uh, the fourth sample in our sample series, Curtis of Antonio at Whiskey Quest. Uh, the sample I'm going to be reviewing uh, today is the Stumpy's Old Monroe Wheat Whiskey. 45% alcohol by volume, and it's uh, 90 proof. It's kind of what color looks like there. Uh, today, um, with me reviewing is my daughter, Lana. Mm -hmm. You want to say hi to the camera, Lana? Say hi. Can you say hi? Say hi. Can you wave it like this? No, maybe not. Anyways, um, she's going to be helping me uh, do some nosing and tasting. And uh, she won't be doing any of the tasting, but I'll be doing all the tasting. But... Um, but yeah, we're going to do it together and we'll tell you what we think of it. So anyways, yeah, there we go. Now you're waving. <laughs> so I wrote down a couple notes here about Old Monroe. They're a, a family farm, eighth generation farmers in the same location. They grow all of their, um, their grains uh, around their distillery. They use the limestone water uh, that's in the river next to them. So all of their products uh, that they produce are grown, homegrown, and and distilled right right at their distillery, which is pretty cool. And um, it's saying here that it's uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's aged in a Missouri oak uh, barrel, a toasted or a charred Missouri new Missouri oak barrel. And uh, their distillery is located in uh, Columbia, Illinois. And. Uh, that's pretty much all I know about it. Now, I did contact the distillery to find out more information about it, but unfortunately, this whiskey has been, uh, been sold out. They have no more, and they're only offering a uh, single barrel and a couple other bourbons. So, this one's kind of rare. And I only have this little bit left. Bummer. I know. Okay, so uh, in my review, um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of water because you never know if it'll change it or not. And um, we'll see if that opens up any of the flavor molecules. But uh, let's jump into the nosing real quick. I'll show you the color of it so you can see how it looks. I'll try to bring it in close. It's hard. The camera's kind of far away. It's kind of got a kind of a dark copper color. It has a beautiful color for a, a weeded whiskey. Let's go for a smell. Smells really good. It's kind of like cinnamon. You smell? Smell? No drinking. <laughs> kind of smells like uh, uh, like uh, like maple. I just had some maple uh, on uh, some waffles, so maybe that's why I smell it. But it's got a good smell of maple. It's got a uh, 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 it's a slight like licorice smell. And then also it's got a, um, a very subtle vanilla smell. It smells really good though. It has, it's definitely got a good uh, smell to it. Oh, I'll just shift you up here, little girl. I know. Hold on. Let's let's do a taste real fast. You have to say cheers to everyone. Say cheers. Say hi, everyone. Hello. You gonna say hi? No. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Cheers to everyone. Mm. Uh, wow. It's got kind of a, a little bit of a bite to it. Um, I'm really tasting the oak. It, this is like an oak forward. <coughs> uh, we did bourbon. Yeah. Oak forward. We did bourbon. It's really really tasty and um, it's got to, uh oh there she goes you're gonna run off um, uh, it uh, it has subtle hints of uh, of like char oak char um, like an aftertaste of uh, cinnamon cinnamon maple kind of it, it tastes really good I'm just bummed that they don't offer it anymore. It's 
it's kind of got rich, it's kind of got a rich and kind of, um, it's got a good mouthfeel, it kind of coats your throat, finishes medium. It's overall, it's a really good product. Like I said, I'm just bummed that they don't offer it anymore. But who knows, maybe in a couple years they'll, they'll have some. Let me add some water to it real quick and then see if that changes uh, any of anything. Hang on one second, guys. Do, 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 do. Come on, little bean. Here, come here. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We're back. Let's take some water. He's like the straw. I'll let you hold it in a second, okay? Okay. One drop. Here, Lana, hold the straw. Oh, and I don't know if I introduced her, but this is my daughter, Lana. And, uh,. She loves to grab everything. She just uh, turned 18 months, so she's getting up there, growing so fast. Yeah, is that your straw? So we're just letting it sit a little bit here. And um, the, the nice thing about this distiller is because it's family operated and um, they grow everything from scratch and they uh, distill everything, it just makes the product 10 times better. Yeah, on their website, they have a, a saying, from grain to glass, and that's, <laughs> That's exactly right. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, so now that it's been resting for just a second here with the water in it, let's see if uh, the nose has changed at all. Be careful of daddy's nose, okay? Careful. And the nose is about the same, but uh, let's go for the taste. Cheers. Well, the one drop definitely brought out the spices in um, in the whiskey. It's more peppery. It's still very oak forward, but the pepper. Now I'm unlocking the uh, pepper molecules, and it's spicy. Still, overall, really good taste. I mean, if they still had made this product, I'd buy it. I'd probably even buy some of their other ones, but uh, pretty much overall, super tasty. Uh, we did the uh, whiskey. Um, thank you so much, Antonio Whiskey Quest. I'll link him up here so you can see who he is. And uh, stick around for more uh, reviews. I've got a ton more to do. Like and subscribe to me. Um, hit the little bell notification. It sends you email alerts. Good thing to have. Anyhow, cheers, everyone. Hope you guys have a great uh, Super Bowl Sunday. And, uh, um, and uh, cheers. Have a great day. See ya. Bye. Say bye, Lana. Say bye.